I am in the best mood today. I'm so stoked to give to you this voluminous hair blow drying tips where I'm gonna show you how I blow dry my hair, but it can't be boring like that. I promise this is gonna be good because these are tips that have completely changed my hair. I get compliments on my hair left and right. That maybe sounds conceited. I don't mean it that way, but lots of questions on my hair. We're gonna roll this out now, how you can have killer hair too to create that volume for your looks right now. Okay, get this out of the towel. I can't take it anymore. You might hear little jingle jangles going on in this live. That would be the cat. That's Gus. Where is he? He farted a second ago. Wow, that's a whole other level. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check this out now. So got my hair washed. I'm gonna give you the best, oh my gosh, this um, shampooing tip for you. This is a, this is what I think has changed my hair so much. And that, that is this. So I get oily fairly easy, but with having bleached hair, my ends get dry, right? So I actually use a different shampoo. This is a mint shampoo that's really good for oily hair. These are from Lange. Um, I love Lange. You can get Lange or not, but get you something that is for oily hair, right? But you don't want to put it through the whole hair shaft. So I use a voluminous shampoo that I put throughout the rest of the hair shaft. So I just have in my roots, excuse me, in my roots, I have this baby, this mint shampoo, and in the hair shaft, I have this, it's called the Cascade shampoo, and it's for volume, okay? So, I will do that, then I rinse it out, and then I get myself a deep conditioner. Here is your magic, magic trick with conditioning your hair to help it not get oily as quickly. You ready for this tip? All right. You're going to take your deep conditioner and you're gonna put it about from here down. But you don't just go like this and put it in your hair. You're going to take your hair and you're gonna section it off into sections. Even if you have longer hair or shorter hair, I don't care what the hair length is for your hair, you're gonna part it off into two sections. You're gonna take that deep conditioner and you're gonna go from mid shaft down and you're gonna keep it out away from your um, head right in here. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're going to do the other side. Now when you go to rinse your hair, you're actually going to um, hold your head like this and you're going to rinse the deep conditioner out of your hair uh, without it just rinsing it like this because when you rinse it like this, it comes down the neckline, it does all of that and it makes it so that it is going to make your hair greasy quicker. We do not want that oily hair, we want it to last as long as we can. So that is my tip for getting your hair to last a little bit longer, you're hydrating your hair really, really well, and it's boss. So it's time to put product in your hair. Everyone that rides out to me and reaches out and says, my hair does not do what you do, I say, do you put product in your hair before you blow dry? Guess what the answer is? No, you don't. So if you're not putting product in your hair because you don't wanna use so many products, then don't expect to get your hair what you want it to do. When your hair is very, very soft and limp, you're not gonna get the curls out of it that you wanna get the curls out of. Whoa, let me turn off that ringer. <laughs> you need to be able to add texture. So what I'm gonna show you that I do to my hair is a way that I can keep the hydration. I'm, I'm taking care of the hair, right? I'm reviving the hair, and then I'm going to add texture to the hair and volume to the hair. So in this hair tutorial, I'm giving you voluminous hair by taking all the components that we need within a hairstyle and type, and we're adding them together in order to make a really good killer hairstyle for our prep work. So the first thing first that I do, if you are experiencing dry hair, this is a tip for you. You're going to take a product, this one. Okay, I told you I don't care what product you use, but this product right here is by far my favorite product that I've probably ever seen with hair, period, with all the brands that I've used. This is called Glaze Hair Lotion. So this one is to hydrate and hold moisture. You don't wanna overly hydrate and overly add moisture or else it's gonna create that limp hair. 
So this one is so stinking good. I'm absolutely obsessed. This is the Moisture Lock-In Shine and Smooth Hair while adding volume and texture, retain curl, reduce frizz, and to have a touchable finish. Um, it helps with UV protection and helps color from fading, humidity resistant, formulated without alcohol, sodium chloride, or parabens. I love this stuff so much. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put about this much in my hair, okay? Now, to help with the dry hair, we're going to do one part of that to, from the glazed hair lotion and we're going to use an oil. A lot of people miss this step. If you are having bleached hair, dry hair, where's your oils at? So we're actually, by putting it in before you blow dry, that help keeps it um, um, not getting oily, is what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple pumps of this, okay? So it's not near the same size and amount. And then this is going to be good for my whole entire, not my whole head, but both sides of my hair. So I'm gonna start with the ends and I'm going to then work my way up, okay? And then I'm gonna come back here because I still have quite a bit on this one hand. I'm gonna get my ends back here and then work my way up. In the front of my hair, I will come up a little bit higher because that's where we touch and it can get see a little bit more damage than other places. Now I'm going to come onto this side and I'm going to work my way up higher and higher, all the way up and through to my hair. So I'm adding that oil, which is going to add hydration, and I won't need to keep adding more oils because this one with the glaze and that oil is taking care of the hair. If you are not in a stage that isn't as dry, you can skip the oil part. But this is good to at least do once a week here and there. You'll know for how soft your hair is, but it really is gonna make a huge difference on your hair. So this is also a product that you can use to help with frizz. Now, if you do want to, um, or if you do deal with frizz, I'm not gonna touch base on all of the hairstyles and types right now, but you can use the Glaze Hair Lotion and an anti-frizz product as well. Lange does have one, it's called Sorbet, if you're interested in that, but you can still use this and your anti-frizz product as well. The next thing that I'm going to do to create that voluminous hair for your um, blow drying is I'm going to add a mousse. I love this mousse because it's not too heavy. And that's really important with the style. So this one, I'm gonna shake it up first and then I'm gonna take it and place it and get about that much. And that's gonna take care of my whole head as well. I'm gonna rub it together and of course, I'm gonna start on the ends and work my way up. But this one, I can get all the way up and then I come in with what's ever left onto my root, okay? And then the same thing over here, we're gonna start on the ends, get some in the back real quick, and then we're going to go, we can go in to, up to the root throughout. And I'm just gonna make sure every ounce is off of my hair. So if you haven't seen any of my past tutorials, you'll see that I have one that explains my haircut and what to ask for when you go to the salon for your stylist. I'm actually gonna be cutting my hair soon. <laughs> but you're gonna, um, it helps you to know what to ask for from the salon. But another thing that you can do is I have tons of hair tutorials with how I curl, how I even have worked using a flat iron to create a curl. It's called the ballerina curl is what I call it. It's my own weirdness. Um, but there's videos and tor t t tutorials, t -t 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 tutorials. Also, if you see dry skin and stuff, just ignore it. I had microneedling just done just recently. My face is finally not so red, but I have dry skin peeling everywhere. So just ignore it for today, okay? Usually isn't the case. All right, so we, we're creating our volume. We've created our protection, or our moisture um, taker carer hydrator 
of it all and our volume, okay? And next we're gonna take our texture and create texture. Now, you don't want a product that's too heavy that it's like just like weighing down your hair. So make sure whatever you're choosing to add for your texture, you are picking something that is not too heavy. You might have to try out a couple different uh, kinds first, but this is the salt and sea spray. Some salt and seas have oil in them and some do not. This one does not. So here is a tip for you if you have dry hair as well or frizzy ends. You are going to take this spray, a, a salt and sea spray, but you aren't, you don't have to hold your hair like this, but I just wanna show you. You're gonna spray like mid shaft up, okay? So I wasn't pointed anything down here. So you're gonna spray mid shaft and up and not get it on your ends. That's gonna help you to not get the frizz and not get drier ends because that's what you're trying to avoid, right? So you're gonna spray this about mm, six to eight sprays and you're gonna work in. The last thing I do is I come in through my hair and really work everything in together. Okay, so we just really work this hair and work everything in together. And it's already feeling really soft because I actually did this the last time I washed my hair, so I, I didn't need to do that this today. But we're showing you, so I'm gonna have very soft hair right now. All right, so now we go to blow drying. The trick to achieving good, look at this. I didn't even brush out my hair before I started. Look at how soft this is. Like I can just go like this, and it takes out those, um, those snarls. Look how amazing that is. You're not seeing me combat my hair being um, too rough. And if you say, well, you already started to brush that side. Okay, you start at the bottom and you come on down. Look at that. It is so amazing. It takes such good care of your hair. I absolutely love it. Um, okay, we're talking about volume, right? This is that blow drying tutorial where we bring volume to the table. Even though I'm giving you all kinds of other tips for frizz, or for dry ends, or you name it, we got it. <laughs> All right, oh, P.S. I always put the description of everything and what I use in the comments below. You can even find the eyeshadows that I used, uh, all that jazz in the comments below. If you have not seen my hair tutorials, if you haven't seen my makeup tutorials, well, there is that too. Okay, let's do this. We're going to go in with the blow dryer. I'm going to be focusing on making sure that I get from the root and over. So I'm trying to build um, the volume from the root, okay? So we wanna make sure we're going opposite of how it lies. So if my hair's gonna lie down here, I'm actually gonna blow dry my hair up here and I will show you that. upside down but when I tilt my head upside down pay attention to the direction that the blow dryer is going because the direction of the blow dryer actually helps you to not get frizz so check this out you have to make sure that you're going with the direction that the hair actually is so we're not splitting and opening up the cuticle of the hair. Now I'm going to 
gonna pull out my brush and you're gonna see me brush through the hair to help get out some of that frizz as well and just make it a lot more sleek. super helpful as well is a boar um, bristle boar and nylon bristle brush so not is it just a normal paddle brush sorry you're gonna have to see my hairs in it but it actually has please excuse the hairs it actually has the boar and it's an old brush by the way the boar and the um, nylon as well so that's creating the grip that's what's helping it as it comes through to kind of hold onto the hair, which is helping create more volume as well. So get yourself a brush like that. There she blows. So just like that, we have that voluminous hair. I mean, I'm not even having to do anything to it and it's just got all this volume um, up. Even if I part it down the center, that volume is still definitely, definitely there. I do have some past blow drying tutorials as well, but I just knew that it has been so long and especially with having longer hair now, but it has been so long since I filmed one, I wanted to film one again so that we had an updated one, but you can check out that past one that I have. But the key thing to your hair is don't over hydrate your hair. Pay attention to the needs of your hair. So if you do have oily roots, you might not be oily at the ends. They might be more dry. So we're paying attention to that key detail and making sure that we're taking care of it before we um, blow dry your hair um, from the washing portion, right? And then before we blow dry your hair to prep it. And then after, there's just a couple things that I do. So I don't really need much product now. I will put a, like a spray for a heat protectant in it, but one of the main things that I do now is I will take a dry shampoo. And just because I know how oily my hair goes, but you might wanna skip this step. But in case you don't, this is what I do. I'll do the dry shampoo right, but not very much, right after I blow dry to help hold out that oil that can develop quickly. And I don't put it through my hair, just where I know that I get more oily faster. If you want to add a little more texture to your hair, you can go in with a powdered dry shampoo. So this one is a powdered um, dry shampoo from Lange. This helps add texture. So actually, if you're somebody that even has really short hair and you want that texture so you can start to create more PC looks or even anything like that, you can take this, this is the Stardust dry shampoo and you're just gonna go pump a couple pumps and rub it in. If you are somebody that has dark, dark hair, this is not gonna work for you um, as much because since I do have that blonde hair, because it is a powder. But the dry shampoo I used, that can be used on any hair color because it's clear. And that's super helpful because sometimes the bottles will even say that it's good for any hair color. And then you go and do it and it's, it's truly not. It's a lie. It's a myth. Well, that was a good job. <laughs> I didn't even spray it in my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there you go. There is my blow drying tutorial for you. How you're gonna get your voluminous hair out of this blow drying tutorial? Well, you're gonna do what I said. So if you have any questions, make sure you put it in the comments below. Another thing that you can do is you can follow me on Instagram and you can check out my highlight bubbles or you can say, hey girl, I just started following you from YouTube over here to Instagram. Can you help me out here, right? Or you can go to Facebook and every Tuesday I go live teaching makeup and every Thursday I go live on hair. So you can tune in for those in the morning time over there. Um, 
And if you have any questions, like seriously, feel free to reach out. I do my best to make sure I get back to everybody. So again, I'm Jocelyn McClellan. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. And if it's not your first time tuning in and you haven't subscribed or rang that bell, what you waiting for? Take care. Have a good one. Bye.